knowledge at your fingertips. Opportunities to learn and grow are endless. And Local Tones Mega Moore is here now with how one local teenager started a nonprofit to make sure that students have access to computers. Make it. Good morning, Milan Bandari. He's a senior at in Indian Hill High School. He's always had a knack for computers and a passion for helping those in need. Hence the name of his nonprofit, Fix and Give, something he started to help bridge the digital divide in our community. I'm not sure. These are wired, but these are nice. Where we may see a big box of dusty, outdated technology, Milan Bandari sees opportunity. So far, we've donated to, I would say, around six or seven schools, and then we've donated a lot with refugees. With donations to Crayons to Computers and his nonprofit Fix and Give, Millen and his team have refurbished those computers, giving them new life and a new purpose. Last year we were around 320, 330, and this year so far we've done around 30 to 40. Some weekends we've just been refurbishing computers all day and night, and we find it fun, you know, because we, uh, my friends and I, we, we like to work with technology a lot. The inspiration for the nonprofit started while Millen was tutoring refugees who didn't have access to computers at home. And my grandfather was an old computer science professor. So uh, he has a ton of old computers in our basement. So I took some of those and I repurposed those and I gave those to those kids. And from there, we expanded to schools and other communities uh, like refugees uh, just around Cincinnati. But he and his team now do more than give computers away. We talked about some skills that they can learn on these laptops. And so that's kind of how we came up with the coding club. They also volunteer at Taft Elementary's after school program teaching coding. I want to be an architect. So I think I'm going to be using computers a lot. Really the most fun for me is, is getting to um, teach other people, to get other people not only to teach them but to have them learn the skill. It's turned into something that I never really would have predicted. Millen hopes his nonprofit will inspire other students to help out in their community. Our students are not only learning a skill, but they're also witnessing a student that's close to their age that is giving back. Millen plans to offer more coding classes and possibly start a scholarship award where they would give away a fully loaded MacBook Pro to a student. They're also planning an entrepreneur's, uh, entrepreneurship and technology symposium for later this year. John, back to you. That's so impressive. I mean, it uh, really uh, is. Such a mature young man. Yeah. Uh, computer donations can be dropped off at Crayons to Computers. And you can also contact Fix and Give on their website. We have a link to that at local12.com.